Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, geez. My name is Dirk Zeno. Is that all there is? And, um... Wow, this is bad. I can't even change the volume. Boo. Um, <clears throat> this is Telephone by Walter, whatever you saw there. Um, it's analog horror. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's very graphic, I guess. Uh, it's going to cover a sensitive topic, and we're going to be news reporters or uh, investigators or something. And we got to find out what, 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 what yeah. Um, Juliana. Okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got the camera on? Uh, on now? Yeah, it's best to have as much material as possible. We can edit it all later. All right. We want the sixth floor. Can you get the button? I guess. Uh, this, this also has multiple endings, by the way. What is it? You look like you have something to say. Don't you think it's r wrong to bother a widow? I was just thinking about what happened. Do you get author authorization for this? Damn. What happened? It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? They just told me how it happened. What he used to, you know. You're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. You heard it, right? He gave Saliso a VHS tape? A VT operator? Right. Saliso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technical issues. Then, bam, it happened. Okay, we're here. Come on. Jeez. I don't, I don't know if I like this or not. Okay, we're going to apartment 608, easy to remember. What? Um. I don't think it's this way. But was it, it, I saw 604, so I, I figured, or does it go the other way? I don't know how apartments work. Um, yeah, let's head back. Oh, there it is. I think it's that apartment just that. Well, you said 608, so I would assume it's this apartment. Thank you. Here we are. Well, let's get ready, shall we? You can film her getting the door and all that. So should I knock on the door, ring the bell? We'll look better on video. What do you... Well, why am I the one fucking... Ass? You're the reporter. You should know what to do. Okay, we knocked. That was bad. I wonder if she's uh, up to talking to strangers right now. I hope the camera doesn't act... Up during the interview okay uh, if she isn't she will be now let me try again I, I, I know there was kind of a cut um, I was trying to figure out the volume issue if there is an issue but you know it looks like I'm just going to have to turn it down a bit. It's really loud in my headphones. Hopefully that's okay for you guys. Hopefully you guys can still hear me fine and hear everything. It's just, I can't. They need to have a music adjuster. Is she even home? Say, did you work with Walter for long? What if she won't see us? For, what? For I called her right after it happened. I doubt she's left the house since yesterday. Oh, well, I guess we'll knock again. Boom, boom, ding, boom, boom. Ah, what do you want, Adriana? Hi, Miss Martins. 
We're from Channel 8. We came to give you our condolences. Do you really need a video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. Oh. A homage, a kind of retrospective you see. He worked at the station for so long, so we wanted to talk to you about him, about what happened. Right. Fine, come in. It might be good to talk about it. A homage? Why not? We can edit it later. Right now, we need a raw material. Come on, before she changes her mind. We're lying to this woman. After she lost someone she loved, you're scary. Thank you again for welcoming us, Miss Martins. Hmm. Silva here will film our conversation, okay? Will he now? I'll have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea? Coffee? Oh, I never refuse a cup of coffee. I'll go make some. I don't know. This woman's kind of weird. Oh, can I, can I kind of move around? She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Oh, there's a dog right there. Forget that. Let's snoop around while we have the chance. Make sure to get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. Look at these certificates. Journalism degree from UFRGS. Specialization in communication. Walter was well educated. I think Miss Martin's is just the same. What a waste. Oh, it would be a shame if only if we only had shots of the same wall. Look around the whole room, okay? Oh, this is fucked, dude. Oh, hi. That TV shot looks good. Something funny about this TV. I think there was a lightning sh lightning strike nearby the other day. It might have messed it up. Actually, I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know. Well, that's lovely. Is it going to rain today? Hardly. The rooster says otherwise. Look. Ah, uh, these roosters never get it right. Hmm, guess we can use this to take... To set the mood. Oh, VCR player. Fancy. How much is one of these going for now? Some two million cruzeros? More than that, I think. Walter took a loan to pay for this. He told me this one time he gave me a ride. Hey, I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out all you can. Dog jacket. I don't know Walter bought this raincoat to cover a story. Some lake where it rains a lot or something. Right then, which got stuck in my head because it vanished. I remember he got cheated out of some 500 cruzeros for an oversized coat. He looked ridiculous in it, but he paid so much for the damn coat. He just had to wear it. Poor guy. Um... The pen here, I like. I think Miss Martin's painted this. Look, a daily trophy. Oh, right. Walter got one of them for an article he wrote back in the 70s. The station's owner thought this would make us stand out more, but it didn't happen. Local stations have zero chances against the big ones. I think they even had a lobby going on to hush this up. Look at this headline. The tragic passing of Walter Martin. So it's made the news already. She won't have peace for a while. No, she won't. Coffee's almost done. I can go for some coffee, to be honest. Will you have one? Yeah, I did say I could go for some coffee. Be my guest. Uh, so, did you think it over? I did. Let's get this done with. Great. We'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on that chair, Silva. Ready? No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. We're here with Miss... Adrena Martin's wife of Walter Martin's, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two lived. You two are quite well educated, aren't you? You can say so. I studied quite a bit. History, theater. I met Walter at an eloquent workshop. I used to help him out. Can you believe he had a speech impediment? Bad, di bad dictation. You are creepy, ma'am. Uh, nobody notices it today. He articulated his articulated speech. So that was my gift. Um, do the painting. Painting in the living room. They're yours, yes? Yes, I've been 
practicing for years. I like painting my dreams. I was preparing Walter's portrait. You can't even look at it now. Um, no award. Walter was a very high caliber professional working at a small station. Would you like to comment on that? He felt he had less problems with higher ups when working at smaller stations. He could suggest topics, be more hands on. He also believed in keeping local stations alive. We lived well. He wasn't an ambitious man, not in that sense. He was a good man. I really shouldn't be asking any of these questions whatsoever that's on the screen right now because that is an invasion of privacy it's more so to say walter's rank up many of walter's things are still around here yes i've been thinking about selling the apartment because of of everything these things just make it all more difficult i'm thinking of getting rid of everything it's hell look i'm sorry i don't think i can keep going of course miss martins uh we have enough material already he was so different so nervous i never expected him to no one expected that, Miss Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter h handling a gun. Gun? What gun? Walter never had a gun. The the gun, the one he used during the show's broadcast. He did not use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That's the Ferreira told. That's what Ferreira told you back at the station, right? What? How can that be? My God. I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape. The tape he tried to broadcast. So let's examine the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burned or something like that. That wasn't... That wasn't the, the tape. Not the original one. That was a copy. Seriously? Do you still have the original one? Yes, here. I don't know what he saw in this thing. I don't... And I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I wasn't home or in the small hours of the morning. God damn, this is creepy. You want to watch it, don't you, for your show? I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try to change your mind. I, I'm going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to hear this thing. You are one creepy motherfucker. This is it. We have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? You'll stay, right? Um, uh, yeah, I want to know what's going on. I knew I made the right decision bringing you with me. Okay, this is how we'll do it. You film me as I watch the thing. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during editing. You're liking common sense. All right, let's make some room here. I don't think this is a good idea. Let's begin. Let's get my first impressions on film. We can fix it all on editing later. There, I'll press play. Starting. What is this place? I don't recognize this building. What? These symbols? I I can almost... Do they mean anything to you? But at the same time, I can't. Damn, this is creepy. It feels like they get entangled inside your brain. A green hallway? Oh, it changed. Good. So he did go inside the building. What is this place? Well, move your fucking head. I get to dictate what it is. Scary. Scary. Kind of decent, but scary at night. Fucking scary. <laughs> Everything's scary. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, honestly, if I'm going to have to take a guess it actually looks like the apartment building more so than anything else uh not a museum I'd say the closest thing would probably be a prison or a school but both of them are, are also the same thing um i'm going to go with shopping mall mall the shop windows no mall would sell that's just he's just walking by everything what sort of building is this it's way too big look there's someone up ahead I don't think you should be watching this. That guy. He looks. He looks. I'm sorry. What did you just say?
ba 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 ga ba ba ga 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 Char, take my hand. We'll take a walk. Get to zero inside the lost ark. I'll buy you this guy. Sounds like it mentioned someone named Oscar. I do hear Oscar. I do hear Oscar. S ska? We're assuming Ska? Uh, I, d I do hear Oscar. Someone named Oscar? I don't... I can't hear anything about an Oscar. I can't understand a damn thing. Let me turn up the volume one more time. Maybe it was a bad idea to turn up the volume. If you turn around in a fucking instant, I'm slapping the fuck out of you. <laughs> I had it. I'm out of here. That's it. I'm turning this thing off. Bruh. I don't want a commercial break. I want it. What? Sign a programma zero reporter. What? I mean, that's that's a good name. If you want to report something at, you know, midnight. Would that be midnight? Yeah, that'll be midnight. Okay, we're in the right building. Is the camera on? Okay, hurry up. Let's. 608. What? What? Right. I was supposed to press the button. Hey! <laughs> What what's the fuck's going on? Uh, I'm gonna go left again. Ah, okay. Well, you shot it, right? Come on, let's go. I, there's an apartment. Finally. I'll do the talking. Good evening. We're from Channel A. We came to talk to you about... You don't mind if we record this, right? I, you want to talk about Walter, right? The recent events. Everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? Come in. It might be good to speak to someone. Um... Yeah, you're coming on a little too hard. She got her whole life to mourn. Come on, get you're you're being a little bit of an ass right now. It lies just beyond the edge of your consciousness. Tough luck. You took coffee before. You Hi. Hey, Gunpowder. He seems a little nervous, uneasy. Or is he afraid? Can I leave? I don't think there's really anything else to look at. Okay, he's still a complete dumbass, unlike some people back at the studio. Right. I don't recognize any of these institutions. So many books. Huh? There's one missing. Oh, that's fucking trippy. <laughs> Teleform. I can't exit out of this. Something about Stevie gives me the creeps. Hey, there's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look. Go there and take it off. 
shit, I don't know why the fuck that scared me. <laughs> what? You heard me? You can reach up there. What? I... You didn't lose your fingers, did you? What a strange job, Daddy. I don't care as long as it's away from me. No! She's possessed or something. I just fucking... There. I want to ask her about this. She's probably going to be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Let's get to the point. Well, I took a tape to the studio, but it wasn't the original one, was it? The original is here with you. How do you know that? We examined the one we had with him. Uh, I want to see the original. Well, yes, I have it here. Do you know where he found this tape? Is this why you came here? Had I known, I wouldn't have opened the door. Here, take it. I don't want to see this thing. I'll ha go have a smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. Um... I don't have time for this, but fine, you're right. This whole thing is making me antsy. You know what? Why don't you go check up on her? Even better, interview her. You always wanted to do that, right? Here's your chance. See if she's up to answer some questions about the origin of this tape. I'm concerned. Ah, there she is. It's not a cigarette. No, focus if I do a good job. I can help her feel a little bit better. That's what I want to believe, at least. Miss Martins? What is it? Are you done? Not yet. Julia's watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions for your program. Shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? Actually, I got worried about you. I've seen many people like that girl in this line of work because of Walter. People who stop at nothing. Eh? I found this to this interview of yours. You better think very carefully about these questions of yours. My head's about to burst. How are you doing? Terrible. I haven't slept since, you know. Maybe I should have seen it coming. That is her at home changed ever since that tape showed up. He would watch it many times a day, locked up in a room. He would say he'd almost get it, but never show me anything. He never showed it to me. Do you know where the cape came from? We need to investigate this. I think he got it at home, but I didn't see who delivered it. Walter collected movies, hard to find films, recordings. I thought it was just another one. Just thinking about that girl alone in my living room watching that thing makes my skin crawl. Say, why is she so interested in that tape? I, I wouldn't know. No? Isn't that why you came here? I mean, isn't that what the story's about? I don't remember. Don't you think the colleague of yours is acting a, a little strange? I, I could swear I've seen her before. To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Maybe I've seen her at the studio. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I haven't been working there for long. Hmm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. Not yet, anyway. Me? Yes. Why are you in this anyway? I don't get to pick the task. So you choose to omit yourself, right? No. I shouldn't blame you. You're not a fault. Not really. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder. The lure of a sensationalist piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape. From this whole thing. The object. No, no, no. Don't say anything. Look, on your face says it all. There are certain pursuits that, that aren't worth it. They are far too curious. too much for you isn't it I know that because it's been too much for me too this is too much for you isn't it I I got something here that it's fine it doesn't matter I don't want this story to be broadcast I'm telling you quite plainly drop the camera Are you serious you can tell them crazy old lady claw clawed at you I don't care here a little push out the window Deny the object in your pocket? What?
What? What just happened? I don't understand. Oi, who are you? Were you there before? Hello? I need to reach the apartment, the apartment. Which apartment? Six, yes, that was it. I had someone else with me. Ju, Ju, Juliana. That's right, the bitch. With that tape. What I saw in it. Do I exist now? From which past did I come from? The apartment? She stayed there. Dude, this is fucked. What is this door? Is this where she was? The door won't budge. But there's a grate. Oh. Oh, what the f That's her! Oi. Where, where is she going? Uh, wherever it is, I don't want to go there. No way. I have to leave. Gunpowder? What happened here? Hey, Gunpowder, where's your owner? Am I imagining things? Or is the dog avoiding the apartment? Oh, no, no, come on. Oh. Gunpowder, come back here. He's got an end to him. He just dashed down the hall, huh? Look at this. He was lying on some of note. Inspect the note. I've had it, and I did what I shouldn't. I now live the past of the future uh, that never happened. I move through strange events, informal facts, truth and lies, no more than an idiot's dream. If anyone reads this, don't leave gunpowder alone. She, she also. Ugh, these letters are giving me vertigo. Wait, the dog, where did he go to? Gunpowder? I'm, I'm going inside. Am I going inside? Really? I will. The note said, don't leave the dog alone. I just noticed it now. And it's awful. The camera carries me. Not the other way around. I can't even tell when this started. Perhaps a long time ago. Maybe I, when I submitted my application. Gunpowder? I'm going in. Oh, do I have to... Oh, it slowly brings me in. Oh, this is going to be fucked up, isn't it? Why is the first thing I do is sit at the fucking TV? Where is gunpowder? Oh, that's so fucked. I can't move. Excuse me. Watched Morse code? Walter Martins. It seemed to be yours. Good night. Today we'll have a special broadcast in our show. Possibly my last one. I have an announcement to all of you. During the last few weeks, I've made a discovery that that has haunted me. Words are not enough to describe what I uncovered. So, I have to show it to you. 
and there is a chance this will come to haunt you as it has haunted me. However, my profession, my work during all these years have been to reveal the truth. If we want to be free, I need you all to know what I'm about to show you. In order to do this, I ask that all of you currently do not cross your legs. This is important. Uh, watch carefully. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't read all that. Whoa. Oh, that's fucked. What's that? Oh, that's uh, Drown Lake, another game that will be coming out. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I guess there is several different endings for this. Uh, but yeah, that is... Um, let me turn this down for you guys so I can speak clearly. Well, you guys can hear me clearly. So that was Teleform. Walter Martin's Teleform. Uh, next game that uh, the people are going to be making is Drowned Lake. Uh, I really do wish that there was some way to adjust the volume. Uh, it's a good game. Again, multiple endings. Uh, there's about 33 achievements. It's on Steam. It's completely free. It's a horror game, analog horror. I felt chills. Uh, it was actually pretty nice. It was a different take on a game that I've never I've never played analog horror games so this has actually been uh, an enjoyable ride to be honest with you so uh, link down below again it's a steam game completely free and uh, support the developer because this is actually a pretty good game uh, I'll probably play Drown Lake when it comes out and uh, thank you all for watching I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next horror game that we will be playing Goodbye, everyone.